Welcome to a new episode of Lost in Transit. I'm Tom and this is my girlfriend Isabel. We live in this van together and we're trying to do a full loop of Europe. Our Schengen visa is just about to run out and so we are pushed for time. Today we have reached the southern border of Poland with Slovakia. The horizon is the looming Slovak mountains and today we plan to go and hike in those mountains. We are going up here. Hey everyone. We are parked up today in a beautiful spot. We're in this little valley with like woodlands and it feels all quite alpine. Lots of people are arriving for hikes. We're at the bottom of a chairlift. I think it's yeah. used for skiing in the winter. We've been driving through what I'm pretty sure is amazing landscapes to get here, but we've had the worst weather <laughs> over the last couple of days. We've not been able to see anything. Um, and today we're down in this little valley, but when I flew the drone up and out, I could see the Tatra Mountains on the horizon. That's where we're heading. Oh, it's that one of those things you really notice when you're living in a van or you're living outside is is the, is the weather and how how much in tune your day is to the weather. And waking up today, it was like, oh, we can actually go out the van and you know dry our towels, dry all our wet clothes. Do we have breakfast then? Let's get this show on the road. We're wearing both wearing white today. It's like we uh, I'll get arranged it. I'll get, I'll get changed. <laughs> Got greens dripping down my leg. Jean Dobre. Welcome to restaurant on the road today. I'm serving you up some athletic greens with some beans on toast. Bon appetit. Don't know the word for that in Polish. I'm just gonna go close the van. As I was saying, you can see the Tetra Mountains on the horizon, these really big mountains. But we're not going to drive straight towards them, which is a tempting thing to do because there's stuff we want to see on the east of the mountains and the stuff we want to see on the west of the mountains. So if we loop around, we can hopefully see both of them on our way through Slovakia. We will be leaving Poland today. It's been really good fun. I absolutely mm. love Poland. I, it is a shame we are, are rushing. Basically, the option is at this point, we'd either have to go back to the UK or go to a non Schengen country. Yeah. So we've had to rush because either way, we would have been rushing through countries. Wow, we just got a really nice glimpse of some mountains. Yesterday when we arrived, we couldn't see anything because it was so rainy and it was getting quite dark, but these mountains, they look incredible. And this really is our first big mountain since Norway. Wow. Oh, this drive is we're so glad we're insane. Here. We've just had to stop and pull over because it's so beautiful. We're driving through this like mountainous landscape and there's this big lake next to us and either side of the lake, there's these castles and we just had to stop and just have a look. It's yeah, just so beautiful. So nice. This big river on our side is actually the border between Poland and Slovakia. So that is Slovakia over on that bank and this is Poland. Just got to our parking spot for a camp fan it was 30 zloty. We don't we only had eight zloty in our purse, but luckily she accepted Euros, which is really quite surprising. But so, I mean over the river day. That's true, Euros yeah. Day, so. She said so seven euros. So yeah, we've paid for a day for a camper. Let's go on this walk already. You got the keys? Yeah. Oh, the woman in the car park just gave me an apple. It's really nice of her. <laughs> so we are off. We're starting our hike. Uh, it's about a three hour hike apparently. Uh, and it is quite a popular hike. Uh, there is quite a few people on the path. We are going up here. These are the three crowns behind me and we are going to tackle them in the next three hours. We just come under the shade of the trees. Uh, it's so much cooler. It's pretty hot today. And it's a fairly steep path to be honest and we're powering up as always. It's really steep, my heart is absolutely pounding. <sighs> Dripping with sweat. It's a steep bit up through the woods, but at least we're in the shade. We've just come across a huge crowd of people. I'm hoping it's not a queue for the top. I think this is probably the busiest walk I've ever done. <laughs> it's very busy. Oh my God. We've come to what we assume is the top and there's a, mm. literally a queue. Yeah, we're having to queue. <laughs> I don't know what, what's around the corner. I'm hoping it's a nice view. 
Oh guys, we've done a massive error. We Someone just told us that we have to pay. We didn't realise. We thought we've just paid for the parking. We thought that was enough. Oh no, you don't have to see that. That's too kind. No, no honestly. Oh, <laughs> that's too kind. Well, are you parked down at the bottom? Because we could get some cash out and give you. No problem. Oh, thank you so much. Someone's really kind of given us money. So we can go. It's amazing. <laughs> so kind. <laughs> No, 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 honestly, please. <laughs> thank you so, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. You made our day. Thank you. Although it was only uh, maybe 45 minutes to an hour ascent, it was probably the same in waiting to get to the peak. Um, but I'm sure the view will be worth it at the top, and everyone in the, view, in the queue are very friendly. So. The best hiking snacks. It doesn't get squashed in your bag like an apple or banana. Although I do have an apple given to me by the parking lady. We've been in this queue for, I think, about an hour. And we are now up at the viewpoint. It is literally just a viewing platform. Uh, and this is what we've been waiting for this time. So it is pretty busy. It's pretty tight up here. It's quite a small area. And we have been queuing for a while. I've never experienced anything quite like it with um, such a long queue to go and experience the top, the peak. And then even when you're up there, it's uh, just a small platform with everyone trying to take pictures in the same place. It could do with um, a bit of a bigger observation area up there, really. I'm grateful that we got to see it, though. That would have been sad if we hadn't seen the top. Yeah, it was so nice that they uh, paid for our little ticket for us. Look how long this queue is, though. Oh, wow, I think the queue's even longer than when we were here. It's just stretching around the corner. <laughs> it's so busy. Oh my God, it's so busy yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. If you're watching, thank you to the lovely woman that bought us our ticket. That's yeah. really, really generous. Um, but yeah, be prepared to do some queuing. We have come away from the crowds now, and it's really nice in the woods. It's peaceful. There's no one around. Don't know where they all are. Probably all queuing. Oh, it's nice to do a proper hike. I feel like we haven't done like a really big hike in ages. Uh, my legs are feeling nice and a little bit tired, which is nice. This hike though is maybe a little too on the busy side for me. So yeah. a bit of socialising though, talking to people. Yeah, in the queue it was nice and we actually, because we're stuck with people, we actually were chatting with them for like almost an hour. Great walk. I would say controversially, whilst I'm very grateful that someone gave us a ticket, I don't know if you need to wait that hour to see that viewpoint. Part of the wonder and awe is looking at it from down here. We've treated ourselves to a little cold beverage. You'd never guess from down here that it was going to be so formal and structured at the top with the whole walkway and then the tiny little viewing platform to see. Now I'm thinking about it in hindsight that it isn't my kind of hike. I like to get to the top and have the space to like sit with a picnic blanket or I never bring a picnic blanket. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was also like we're in this amazing scenery, but when you're actually on top of it, really you actually can't it. really see it. So in some ways, I think it probably would have been better to do a hike where you're looking at that rather than hiking on it. So we are leaving this place and that means we're also going to be leaving Poland. This will be our last stop in Poland. We're heading over the border into Slovakia. Oh no, oh, it's our friends. Just... our friends. What? Oh. You gave us the money. Oh, hey. <laughs> Wait one sec, I actually should give them the Azotti that's left. Yeah, yeah. We just bumped into our, our friend who gave us the money. We managed to give her half of the zotti that she lent us. I mean, we guess we could have given her her euros, but she wasn't. She just said it was a gift. We're taking the bamba down this crazy dirt track. Well done, the Bamba, you made it up to the top. Final push, final push. Slovakia, baby! We are gonna go and enjoy a cold beer and take in this view, this beautiful place we're parked at. We've got views out over to the Tatra Mountains and they just look huge and imposing and jagged and amazing. This is my beer I got in Poland. 
I felt I was going to drink it in my last, I guess it is my last day in Poland. I'm just not in Poland anymore. <laughs> and we're in Slovakia now, so we need to learn cheers. No signal, absolutely nothing. Oh, no signal, absolutely nothing. <laughs> no signal, absolutely nothing. Just saw an adder. It was the first time I've actually ever seen an adder. It was just curled up on the bark here. Now this is a five star park up for sure. We've got this entire, we've got our own lawn basically in front of the van. There were a couple cars here earlier, but they've gone now. The sun's setting, view for days. It's not often we can do this, actually get a table out and it's like we're at a little private campsite. Tofu, rice, beans, onion, and garlic. Hey everyone! Right, we're back. Hey <laughs> My, I tried to have a. Sh shut up! Shut up! My beauty routine extends to me wet wiping my face. It actually explains a lot. Yeah. 